Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. The Florida Atlantic Owls under coach Dusty may have really turned the program around are making historic strides. This year winning 31 games, being highly efficient at both ends of the floor, being first in Conference USA and then winning the conference tournament, a tremendous season entering March Madness. In this video though, we're going to look at the offensive end of the floor. They had the 15th best offense in terms of offensive rating, but the things that really stood out were being a top 40 shooting team based on percentage and a top 10 team in total made three pointers. They're effective and explosive offense with their ability to shoot the ball. And now let's dive into the film and see what Dusty May has his guys doing to be one of the toughest teams to guard in all of college basketball. So to start things off with their offense is that it's all initiated with their ability to push early, run the floor, and make plays happen in transition. They have a lot of guys that can handle the ball and push it on the break, so they use that to their advantage. As you can see in all of these clips, they really look to push and then throw it ahead. Throwing it ahead is essential to having a successful break in general, but the way the FAU does it is that they really do hunt that early basket. They really do look to throw it ahead, get layups, or throw it ahead, hit the corner, and get open threes early in transition. The way that they push that ball ahead, throw it ahead, they're unselfish with it, and it genuinely makes it hard for defenses to recover, get in a position, and try to stop these breaks. The ball's moving, and there's always somebody that can put it on the ground and make a play happen that way. Definitely a great way for Dusty May and his crew to get his guys going, get them in a flow, and get easy looks before the defense is set. But to talk more about their break, the spacing is kind of unique due to they don't always go to the corners on the two-man side where the ball typically is they leave him lift it and then the weak side of the floor is typically two where the corner gets a little lower and then the wing is at the break or a little bit above the break but that way that the strong side guy stays high it makes a guy have to make a decision alongside the three guys running wide the big is running the middle of the floor getting rim to rim just trying to take up space in the middle of the floor and continue upon that point. He's kind of their last resort of an offensive look. He's running the floor typically behind the play because of how quick and athletic and how much they throw the ball ahead that he's able to get that late rim run, seal, and make a play happen there. These, this clip here is a great example of that. They're pushing the break. Everybody's getting to their spots wide. They move the ball once to the wing, and he gets that late seal in the middle. But to wrap things up with their break and just the way that they push the ball, it allows them to get in their spacing, get into spots to create plays, and allows the offense to flow so much easier in the half court. Now to get to the basics and talk about their half court attack. They're in the 93rd percentile in terms of point per possession in the half court. They're shooting 57% true shooting, and this is what makes them so good. We're going to start with talking about their spacing. It's very similar to their transition break where they have four wide essentially and one in the middle and they like playing a little bit higher than the dead corners most of the time but overall it's four guys high and wide playing with space big roams the middle third of the floor as you can see in these clips you'll always have four guys wide ball handlers goals to touch paint and the big is floating the middle third as a group, everyone has a great understanding of how to balance the floor, how to maintain spacing. So even when there is a drive and a kick and multiple movements and actions happening, they're a very free-flowing offense because everyone understands where they need to be and puts themselves in the right positions every time down the floor. This last clip of spacing is on an inbound play where the ball comes in and everybody immediately pops out and goes to their spots to be in a right alignment to make plays happen. Everyone on the floor has such an elite understanding of spacing and just knowing where to be, how to move themselves on the floor to create the best advantages time in and time out, even when things get sloppy. The goal of the ball handler is always to touch paint, kick it, or find the big man, or get a layup. And you can see throughout these clips, there's a definite like attention to detail that everyone with the ball has to touch paint and play out of the paint. This also allows them to be that top 10 three-point making team in the country because the amount of times that they touch paint, they move it, they zip it around the perimeter, and it creates great opportunities from beyond the arc. Next though, we gotta talk about actions. They do a lot of creative things like here, it's an inverted double away with a cut, just a lot of movement happening to create an open look. Here, we're gonna have a double buzz that's an exchange below the ball to disrupt the gaps. And it's just cool action to see at the college level that breaks up defenses and creates driving opportunities for driving kicks for their offense to flow. Here we're gonna have a weave into a flare off the weave. 
just cool action. Somebody described their offense like the perfect mix of having set plays with just free-flowing, driving kick, play off of each other offense, and they have a lot of good actions as you can see throughout these clips. With their backup big man Rosado in the game, they have an elite package of elbow sets and just elbow movement where they get him the ball in the middle of the floor, there's movement, there's cuts, there's splits, just really good sets and actions that we have in these next few clips. He catches on the elbow, there's a split, he goes for the handoff, it's not there, he drives, dribble at back door. Just playing off of him, allowing there to be movement and just a different way to attack that they don't do with Golding, their starting big man. Playing off of a playmaking setter that can handle the ball. This set here is very nice. It's a nice little tight zoom in the middle of the floor, something that the Phoenix Suns do. And lastly, when talking about their offense, it's the same thing with their break. The big man is the last line of hope, last line of just trying to get something going. When their offense gets stagnant and they need a bucket, they do look for their big man in the post. It's a four out one in look and they really do a good job at spacing the floor, cutting around him, and it opens up opportunities for him to seal, catch it, and make plays. Golding is a big, strong, physical guy, so when he gets the ball down there, he's able to make these plays. He has a really nice hook shot. He's really physical at the rim to go up and dunk it. He's just a hard guy to guard down there, especially at the Conference USA level, and it's just somebody that they can rely on time in and time out to go make a play and get an easy bucket. But to wrap things up with the basics, just the way that they understand the game, play off of each other, and keep it simple. Drive, kick zip it around the perimeter look for the best shot oh it's not there i'm gonna drive it again it's just constant movement constant great spacing and it's what makes them so hard to guard and one of the best offenses in college basketball and then to wrap things up let's talk about their pick and roll attack first with their middle third ball screens just the way that they do a great job at always having a guy behind the action lifting regardless if it's coming from the single man side or the double man side just reading what direction the ball handler goes and wrapping behind but they also provide a lot of space for the ball handler to get downhill the guy in the corner is deep corner the weak side is deep corner and at the break just creating as much space as possible for the ball handler to go make a play downhill just really good spacing by them and i love how they always have an option behind the action just an elite way to always have a safety valve and also a shooter playing behind but as we continue to look at these clips, they do a lot of unique things to create opportunities with off-ball movement. In this clip here against Mid-Tennessee State, we had a wing exit cut to come off and it also prevented a tag at the rim. Here against Louisiana Tech, we're gonna have a weave into a flip screen and then a 45 cut on the backside to allow the short roll to play. Just movement, spacing. This clip here, everyone on the weak side is gonna lift up and allow an easy open roll for the catch and finish. And this last example is a handoff into their side third pick and roll, and it's a backdoor cut by the single side guy. Now to transition from their middle third slot pick and rolls to their empty side pick and rolls with three man spacing. Just another way that they like using the ball screen to attack. It creates a ton of space for driving opportunities and also empty dives. Just a really good way to also free up the weak side of the floor if they help too much. Just easy reads for the offensive players to get downhill and make plays happen along with just an easy flow into their second side, like you can see in this clip against Middle Tennessee. Just a lot of good stuff. But the key to all of this is the activity on the weak side in that three-man spacing. The 45 is so active in what they do, and it frees up a ton of things. Here against Rice, you're going to see a flare screen at the top. Yes, the ball doesn't go there, but that flare screen made that gap defender have to stay home. Here we're going to see an exchange at the top, but as the ball gets downhill, the 45 dives and it turns into a dunk. The cutting, the screening, the diving by that 45 really creates a lot of advantageous things for the Owls and it's a huge reason why their empty side pick and rolls were so successful this year. This last clip we're going to put it all together with a middle pick and roll flowing into an empty side pick and roll. The whole offense in terms of pick and roll has such a flow and ease to it. Guys understand the spacing like they do and it's just an easy way for them to get easy opportunities. This Florida Atlantic team is one of the best in college basketball. The way that they attack, they move the ball, they play off of each other. They have high skilled, high IQ players and Dusty May is a tremendous coach. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned about one of the best offensive teams in college basketball. I hope you guys enjoy watching them in the tournament. And for more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll catch you in the next one.